So it's interesting. We saw early on with the word Bidenomics and how that tanked. And when the polls really didn't move all that much right after the conviction, um, you, you did see Team Biden lean into that. I mean, you did you did see that sort of. But then the conviction of Hunter Biden, his son, also a convicted felon. I mean, things start to get a little muddied. But I mean, Trump raised so much money after that mm -hmm. conviction that maybe you just don't help him out. I, I would point to this just real quickly. I wouldn't lean too hard if I were Joe Biden on the idea of democracy, because you know what you need to be a democracy? You need to be a sovereign nation. And the border crisis tells us that anybody can get in at any time. And our border agents are working their hearts and minds out to keep us safe. But look at the, the group 400 of illegal immigrants that they're now looking at. Well, how many of them are really terrorists brought in by an ISIS smuggling group? Well, how, how many people does ISIS recruit that are not terrorists? I, I think you're asking the question backwards. But anyway, um, it might backfire on him. Bring up democracy all you want, but it starts with being a sovereign nation with a strong border. Mark, I